let's talk about uh, the run setup integration that we have with RaceJoy, our GPS tracking app. So a few years ago, RaceJoy integrated with Run Signup, and now Run Signup participant data will flow into RaceJoy. Over the years, we've seen a lot of questions about this feature, and the main thing that um, to point out is um, participants can still manually create their own profile and be able to use RaceJoy even if their participant data, for whatever reason, isn't coming down to RaceJoy. It's not a requirement for participant data to be on run signup. It's just one of those nice things to have when participants are trying to create their profile and they'll search for their name and all their information will come up automatically for them. So let's take a look at how this integration looks in the app. So once you open up the app, you can search for the race that you are trying to uh, use RaceJoy for. And let's say I'm running this run sign up marathon. You'll select I want to be tracked. And this registration lookup page is where all the magic really happens for the run sign up integration. So participants will simply search for their name. And it, as long as everything syncs up correctly, you'll see um, your information with the event that you're registered for, your bib number, and everything like that. So you can simply click on the plus button to create your profile for that particular registration. Now, for whatever reason, let's say um, the race hasn't um, uploaded. If it's a non-run signup race and the race hasn't uploaded participant data to run signup, and after you look up a registration, uh, something like this, and it says no records found, there's nothing stopping participants from clicking create a profile, manually creating their profile, manually selecting the specific course that they're going to do, and still being able to use RaceJoy to track their race. Um, I get a lot of questions where timers um, are for non-run signup races. They're asking, do I need to upload participants? Do I, you know, are, is that a requirement for RaceJoy to work? And it's not a requirement for RaceJoy to work for participants. Again, it's just a nice little feature for participants to make it a little easier for them as they're setting up their profile. Now, the one caveat for non-run signup races is if you are uploading participants, you do need to include either date of birth or the age field for all of your participants. Um, without that, the integration won't occur and participant data won't flow in. The reason why for that is um, without the date of birth field or the age field, um, RaceJoy won't be able, to dis be able to distinguish who is who. So if there's two John Smiths and there's no age or date of birth, we're not going to be able to differentiate be between the two John Smiths.